make another oscillator combo video because I actually had quite a lot of fun making the last one and the idea is that you pair two different oscillator modules, put them in the rack and just see what kind of jams you can have. So that's the plan for today. If that sounds good, please stick around. Also, please subscribe if you've not already. And finally, if you do enjoy my videos and you would like to help support my work, then I have a Patreon account where I upload extra videos and sample packs and preset packs. They're also available on my online store. I have a cassette for sale that you can pick up on my Bandcamp. And finally, there are some affiliate links down below as well. Yeah, let's get into the first oscillator combo, which is the ALM Busy Circuits MCO and the Expert Sleepers Disting NT. And I'm using the sub oscillator on the MCO with the IntelliGel UVCF filter, and it really sounds beefy and fat. Let's bring up the resonance. NT, I'm using the Poly FM algorithm. And I actually found a bunch of Sysex, of Sysex files on my computer with some pretty unusual sounds. So what I've done is loaded up another two Poly FM algorithms. So there's three running in the Disting NT and <laughs> and I'm using the drum triggers down here to trigger the other two synths and they're kind of doing sort of effects basically.
Slater Combo 2 is Rings with the RYK Modular Vector Wave, which I haven't had for very long and I don't know how it works. But I do know that there are some presets on it and that's what I'm using here. I also know that there are four voices of polyphony, which is why these notes are overlapping. Sounds really, really nice. There's also a joystick here which lets you sort of scan through four different sounds. And I'm really hoping this is modulatable. a nice effect and the other sort of main element in this uh, jam is beads and I'm using a feature that I don't use very often and I'd kind of forgotten about it's the feedback control and it makes the grains really sort of spiral up in this sort of sparkly heavenly way <laughs> it's so nice worth experimenting with the, the density, the size, <laughs> and, the, and the envelope. Let's go to a sawtooth envelope with a, 
a smaller size. now. Like our combo three is the instro Nione and the piano phonic from Novula. And when I first started jamming this one out, my initial impressions were that it's a bit lame. And I think as a 
as an electronic musician, you always strive to be doing something interesting, something cool. <laughs> and I was thinking of scrapping the whole thing, but then I thought, no, let's lean into the lameness. Let's embrace the cheese and make it even cheesier. <laughs> so the uh, the Neoni is an analog oscillator. It's being sequenced by the Octone from the Glasgow Synth Guild. And it's quite a, a basic sequence I've got running. It's going into the MFX digital delay. And to spice up the sequence, I was bringing in some of the wave folding. And I think when you have a setup like this, which is quite uh, limited, there's only two sort of melodic voices. I think it's important to have an extra element, which just uh, keeps the listener interested. And the wavefold uh, is really good for this. It just brings some extra thing to the, the composition. Um, the piano phonic is not a module I know very well. This is actually the first time I've used it. But the front panel is quite easy to understand. I'm controlling it with a MIDI from the key step and I found this nice pad sound. I do have a little bit of vibrato coming into the Volker Octave input. I take that out. It's very subtle. but it does add a little bit of character. I've then got it running into the Atlas from Vostok and I have some filter modulation going on there. Maths is being triggered by the key step and there's just a kind of slow sweep on the, on the chords. It really has a lovely sounding filter. And uh, yeah, I was just playing a chord progression. And as for the, the vocals, I kind of improvised the vocals when I was rehearsing uh, this part of the video. And then I spent a bit of time sort of tweaking them so that the melody was a bit more coherent. And I've got a feeling I'm going to add some overdubs. This is the type of track that um, could really use some, some backing vocals. But yeah, I hope you've enjoyed my Oscillator Combo 2 video. If you have, please leave a like and a comment. And I'll catch you all again soon.